Hey, welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit more about custom colors. The Master Color palette in your PowerPoint is limited to 10 colors, but we can extend it by adding custom colors palette to get 20, 30 or more. Today we're going to work with XML files. If you're not familiar with that topic, please check our other video, Intro to XML. I explain there step by step what programs we're going to use, how to install them, and a little bit more about XML itself. Okay, first thing we're going to need is to pick up some colors that we're going to use and insert into our custom colors palette. Here I created those colors based on a photo I found online. Additionally, I placed the name of that color and the HEX value, which is really important as we're going to use it in our XML file. The next step is to create a new PowerPoint file. I will go to File tab, New and Blank Presentation. So today we will create those custom colors that will be included in this file. So you will have additional row of colors between the theme colors and standard colors. Okay, let's save this file. Mm, I will call it custom colors palette and save. Let's close it and I'll open my folder when I where I saved it. So first, very important thing when you're working with XML, sometimes you will make some mistake and just in case that happens, we need to create a copy of the file. So just simply select it, Control C, Control V, and we have a copy. Now right click on our file and select Open Archive. Go to PowerPoint File, Theme, and we're gonna extract the Theme 1 file. And it's asking us where do you wanna extract it and we want it to pop up in the same folder. There it is. So here I created some sample code that you can find in the description below that we will use to actually create the custom colors. I will select both my sample code and theme and right click and select open with code. Great. You can see that we have both files open in that program. And first let's go to the sample code. Here we have some information that for now they're just very basic. We will have to place here the name of our color and here the value that we prepared before in our PowerPoint. Let me open also our PowerPoint so I can see our values. I'm just going to simply copy paste all the information from my PowerPoint to the uh, Visual Studio code. You don't have to name your colors, but I think it's just First of all, it looks better and you can also play a little bit with that. Have some fun with that coding. Perfect. I will now copy that code and then I will go to our theme one. First, right click and select format document or press Alt, Shift and F so then we'll have better view. Hover over the number on the left and I will click this minus sign so we will minimize this big part and we can focus on the structure. And after this tag, we have to actually press enter and paste our code. Now we have to save it. Press control S. I will minimize this window and let's go back to our folder. So that's the theme we modified and we need to use it while we're working on that PowerPoint. Now we want to take this file, the new one that we just modified in the code, and we're going to put it in this file. So if you close the zip window, don't worry, just right click and 7-zip and open archive. Go again to PPT folder, theme, and we're going to click and drag and drop it into our zipped. Do you want to really do this? Yes. Okay, let's test it out. I will close this window and double click on the file and PowerPoint will open up. So I wanted to have those colors in our custom colors palette. Let's take a look. Great, they're all here in the correct order just as we put it in our XML. Cool thing is that you can have up to 10 in one row and you can have more than one row. So actually that gives you a lot of color options to pick from. Because those colors are saved in your presentation, they are also available for your text 
or outline. They are in any palette that you have in here. Let's take a look one more time into our theme folder. So here we have three. I explained them a little bit more in our intro to XML video. The first one that we changed stands for the regular master theme, the second for notes and the third for handouts. When you create a template, it's important that you put those custom colors in all three of them. If you would have more slide masters in your presentation, you will see more XML files here. Thank you for watching our video. Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe.